folks today we're gonna do a bit of a different video I've been uh, thinking about doing this video for quite a while and I finally got my ducks in a row so what what I have here is a, a variety of um, fluorescent minerals um, over here I have calcite there's a whole bunch of calcite here um, this is really interesting calcite Call it dragon scale. I just love how those blades formed. Um, there's a few few varieties of calcite. Uh, here's some amber. I've got a big chunk of uh, Indonesian amber, and, and then I'm not sure where that amber's from. Here we have um, a couple pieces of corundum. So those are basically low quality ruby. Um, right here is a pile of opal and some mystery uh, material on a couple of these rocks that I think is also opal. Um, here's a couple of pieces of fluorite, um, some more fluorite in various um, colors, some golden fluorite and some green fluorite, wait, Sorry, this is calcite, um, but that's fluorite, and this is fluorite, and then here's some uh, octahedrons. Here I have some some highlight opal, so that's different than this opal. This is Lightning Ridge opal. I mean, uh, there's. I don't know if we can get any color. They're not. See, there's some color, but they're, they're, they're dry, and I mean, they're just rough, but trust me, there's some, there's some beautiful color in there. I'm going to hit these with a variety of um, UV flashlights. So I've got two cheapos from uh, a checkout line, a 365 and a 395. That's what it says on there. We're, we're going to put that to the test. Here's another one, another cheapo. These are like $30 for the two together. And this was another $30. Uh, Defiant. Uh, here's one that I borrowed from a friend. And it's actually quite good. And, and then I did order a Uber Light. So this is the highest end, a $200. I think this is about an $80. Uh, and then $30 torches. So let's see if there's a difference. Let's see if you should buy a bunch of $30 ones or just buy a good one. Okay, here is the first black light. Now, yeah, you can see it's pretty much, this one looked clear. Um, it's pretty much just painting all of those the same color purple. We'll go over to the corundum. That corundum is kicking it with pink. Uh, how's the amber? The amber has gone blue. And here is the fluorite. The fluorite has gone blue and purple. The highlight, highlight is purple. Uh, a little bit green there, mostly purple. Now let's look here at the opal pile. And yeah there's again it's mostly purple you can see there's a couple pieces that are glowing blue in this pile and now i'm gonna turn off the light and see which ones of these glow not much they didn't they didn't get much at all there's a little bit of afterglow there charge that piece up and little bit of glow now the next of those cheap skinny lights the $15 ones the corundum almost looks orange under this light this light is the the 395 and it's basically just looks white just looks like white light on all of those the corundum really glows the amber really glows wow the fluorite is kicking it 
Not all of the fluorite though. The cubes are not super hot. The highlight, highlights glowing green. That's a little more true to its nature. And the opal pile. Again, we're getting some glowing blue. And the rest not at all. This one's liking this wavelength. And yeah, a little bit of afterglow over here. A little bit of glow. Now we'll try the $30 light. Okay, $30 light. These all look pink. That one's still fairly clear. Pink, pink, pink. The uh, corundum is also pink. All right, the amber is sort of blue or maybe a little green. Wow. Wow, that fluorite went clear. That other fluorite is just freaking out back there. Wow, those guys are like light brights. Ooh, ooh. The highlight. Meh. Whoa. Some glow in here. Definitely some glow over here. Let's see if it charges. Yep. Here. Yeah, very good glow. So now we'll move up to the $100 UV light. Oh, look at that. Now we're starting to, now we're starting to focus. Yeah, now we're starting to see the variation that I know is here. So we have some peach and some orange, some pink, more of the pink and peach. How's the, wow, that corundum is so bright. Look at that ruby shine. Nope. And the amber, the amber looks good. The fluorite, sort of all of them are glowing the same. And now look at that highlight. Wow, the highlight opal looks beautiful. Wow. And the other opal pile. So, all these pieces here, I think these ones have a terrific afterglow. Nope. <laughs> Not under this light. You can see those calcite blades in that geode. Uh, you can tell them apart now. This over here is super white. It's got a great glow. Yeah, look at the afterglow. Let's charge this pile up. Nice. That is a good couple seconds of glow. This geode, the same sort of thing. Beautiful afterglow. Okay, this is the last Uperlite. The cost me two hundred dollars, but I think it's cheaper in the states. All right, so here we're starting. I mean, it's very similar to that hundred dollar one. You're getting the variation in these colors of calcite. Excellent. You're getting a very nice red from the corundum. The amber has got its beautiful blue glow. Okay, the fluorite is, wow, and look at the highlight. Ooh, beautiful, that highlight is a beautiful green. And the fluorite is a beautiful purple. You can see that calcite is pink more I think fluorite with this opal and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the glow so strong look at that still glowing Let's charge it again holy that's like giving off enough light that you can make out the rocks around it Woo. and this geode pretty cool so I also bought a light bulb a UV black light bulb because I wanted to uh, make a display case for these here's what the bulb looks like 
it's almost non-existent. But I mean, it's it's not nothing. I suppose could be worse. I mean, it has to be very very close. The you can see the ball was right here, and the other satellites I bought was this uh, UV strip light. Uh, again, I was gonna line the inside of of my display box with this to try and light up my samples. Uh, so I, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to give it a very fair assessment <laughs> like this. Um, but apart from the amber, it really. Uh, you can see the the corundum at very close range. The amber is fine, and and maybe a couple pieces of this uh, opal. But uh, I, I mean, apart from some other application or just to look cool, these black light strip lights are useless. Okay, so here we have a few more rocks. I was just shining around in my bins to see what random uh, unknown minerals fluoresce. Uh, I grabbed a few. Let's see what they look like. Okay, here we have some calcite. So that's glowing nice. Got a nice pink to it. And then here, you know, honestly, I think that this might just be a, a lichen because that was outside. And also this, I mean, that's a really neat lichen, but it, it does look like a sandwich of calcite. Um, here's another lichen that glows bright orange. And this is a petrified wood. And again, it's got, I think, just a lichen that's bright red. So... Yeah. There you go. Take this into the forest and have a little walk around. I think that's going to be another video here. As soon as the snow melts, I think I am going to go see what the forest looks like under the black light. In conclusion, I would say that the cheaper UV lights are trying to achieve uh, the wavelength with just an LED bulb, whereas the high-end uh, flashlights are using a filter that is blocking all other light sources except 365. So these are a higher quality flashlight with a specific lens tailored to this job. These ones would probably be okay for going to the beach, you know, kicking around the bush. Um, these ones, unfortunately, are pretty much only good for probably a dance party. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Got a peek at some of my rocks and how they fluoresce. Uh, I, I really had fun doing it. I hope you did too. Take care.